Okay, this is the third time I'm making this because it went so long that it cut like the half I wanted. And um, so I'm going to do this really quick. And if I have to do it in two parts, that's going to make me really angry. But um, I'm going to try. This is the Reformed Vampire Support Group. It's like, it's really funny so far. It says, Contrary to popular opinion, vampires are not sexy, romantic, or powerful. In any case, if you hadn't noticed, vampires are dead. And the only ones who don't get staked are the ones who avoid attacking people and admit they have a problem and join a support group. Just ask Nia Harris. Faint at 15 and still living with her mother. She hasn't aged since, 19, since 1973 and her highlight of her sicky sickly couch bound life is probably her Tuesday night group meeting which she spends with a miserable bunch of fellow sufferers being lectured at. It's funny and cute and it's like a different way to look at vampires. Um, Weathering Heights. Um, stupid glare. Ooh, you can see my camera. Okay, um, Wuthering Heights, um, um, I cannot live without my soul, I cannot live without my, I cannot live without my life. When Catherine Heathcliff's childhood friends grow into something so much more, what ensues in one of the greatest love stories of all time, even as fate conspires against them and passion consumes them. Nothing can keep Catherine Heathcliff apart, not even death, for forbidden love is unlike any other. Emily Bronte's masterpiece remains as compelling and thrilling as ever. Beautifully presented for modern teen audience, this is the must-have edition of Timeless Classic. Okay, um, next book is Devilish by Maureen Johnson. Jane Jarvis and Allison Conrad, seniors at St. Teresa for Girls, have always been quirky to be popular. Too quirky to be popular, but at least they have each other, right? Not so much. After a hastily embarrassing disaster, Allison comes to school transformed. Suddenly she has cute hair, clothes, speaks fluent Latin, and won't even look at Jane. With the help of strangely wise freshman boy, Jane discovers the incredible truth. Allison has sold her soul to the devil. Now Jane will have to save Allison before the bizarrely exclusive poodle prom, a party of biblical proportions that might just blow apart the world as Jane knows it. Okay, um, so... Next book is, um, So You Want to Be a Wizard, a library book like no other. Nidia is only looking for a place to hide from bullies, but when she ducks in the library one late Saturday, she finds something even better, something that will make her problems with her classmates a thing of the past and introduce her to a whole new universe of danger, adventure, and to the death friendship. Sounds good. It's by... Diane Duvain. Okay, this book is by Anthony Horowitz, Raven's Gate. As punishment for crime he didn't really commit, Matt was given a choice. Go to jail or live with an old woman in a remote little town called Lesser Mailing. He should have chosen jail. A strange, sinister plan is coming Coming, um, but it all ties to the evil place called Raven Gate, a uh, place where destiny is horrified, intertwined with Matt's own and ancient doom is about unleashing Matt is the only one who can stop it. It sounds really good. Okay, next book is Keeper of the Night. Um, Okay, I'm going to try to summarize it. It's about this um, 
this girl and her mother, she thinks that she died, but she really didn't, and now she's not going on, she's not passing, which is bad, because she's, like, turning evil, and, um, so, they have to make sure she passes, and it's by Kimberly Willis Holt. If you want to hear any more, I will try to read it and give a review. Last book was recommended to me by my friend, um, Nicolette, and it's Stormbreaker in the Alex Ryder series. They told him his uncle Ian died in a car accident, but 14-year-old Alex Ryder knows that's a lie. The bullet holes in his uncle's windshield confirms his suspicion, but nothing prepares him for the news that his uncle has always thought he knew was a spy for the MI6 Britain's top secret intelligence agency. Required to find his uncle's killers and complete Ian's final mission, Alex suddenly finds himself caught in a deadly game of cat and mouse with no way out. I really like it so far, and so I'm going to tell you the books I'm reading so far. I'm, I'm reading Thirst by Christopher Pike. And again, I mean Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. And I just finished Eclipse last night again. So, um, bye, farewell, and keep watching my videos. And subscribe.